Hi, I'm Uwe Ratnik. I'm the director of food and beverage at the Intercontinental Hotel. And we are today in the Q de Chabelle Lounge. And we have planned something very festive, very special for you today. We're going to make a Feuer Zangen Bolo. A big word, but a very tasty drink. Now, we start off with a nice sweet Merlot. I'm using stone salads today. I got a little stove over here, a tabletop stove, and we just put it in there. Now, we want to make sure we do not bring it to a boil, uh, because we don't want to burn the wine. We want to make it nice and smooth. Now, in order to get some flavor in the Feuerzang Bowler, we're going to put some orange slices, and you can put like six, seven slices in there, that's nice, and it also gives you a nice flavor, a beautiful flavor. And really what you want to do is, you want to put Christmas in the punch. And then we have some lemon slices, and we put the cinnamon sticks in there, and it gives it a nice flavor. And I would recommend you use sticks and not loose cinnamon, because otherwise you have all these little spots in there. Okay, and then we put some cloves in there. And you, what you can do is you can take the glove, cloves and stick them into your lemon, so they all keep together, or you just simply put a couple in like this, and we fish them out later. So that's really up to you. So, so far, it smells fantastic. It is great, it has great flavor. Now, we put little orange juice. You want to have all the Christmas, the citrus flavors, uh, for this amount, for about a cup and a half, and a little lemon juice. You see, and the smell right now really reminds me of, of Germany, of Christmas, and I just want to bring that to, to here and to you on TV. We have a little punch bowl over here. Now this punch bowl, that's where we're gonna serve our hot spiced wine in. Do not use your punch bowl at home, which is not hardened or fireproof. It will explode on you. I'm taking the glass bowl out, and I light my candle. Because we want to make sure that the punch stays nice and warm. Right into the bowl. Can you see the steam? Just absolutely beautiful, just like this. And it smells fantastic. And now, we really start the big event. We're putting our little bridge over here. Uh, and then, we have a nice old-fashioned sugar cone. I know most of you haven't seen one, or have you ever seen one before? They look like this, and that's how in the old days they used to sell sugar. They press it together and make these little sugar heads out of them. And we lay this right on top of here. We get the 151 rum. Now please make sure that you're very careful how you do this. This is very flammable. So you just want to soak your sugar cone in 151 rum. Make sure it's good and soaked. And it also gives good flavor for the punch. It's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna love it. And then here, so we go. And now, now we're coming to the, to the big event. And, and here we go. Now isn't this absolutely beautiful? And now you see the sugar is melting. You can see this. Can you see the flames? Isn't it just beautiful? And now the sugar slowly drops into the punch. And it's going to take you about 20 minutes or so. So you have a nice, Nice show, and it's dropping right nice and easy into the punch. About 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes later, all the sugar has dissolved and it's now into the punch. And now it comes the most important part. Now we're going to taste test. And so what I'm going to do is I put a little bit of the punch in my glass. Mmm. A little cinnamon stick for garnish, so it looks nice and pretty. And let's see what we have. That is fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mmm.
I wish you could be here and taste it. Please to come to us uh, at the Intercontinental Hotel and we have it available during the Christmas season.